Hello everyone, and welcome to Commoner Garden. Today we have some bits and bobs to do in the garden. We had some rain last night that knocked over some of the broad beans. Now I should have already tied them up, but I didn't, so I'm going to do it now. Hopefully they'll survive that. Also we have some seedlings that are now big enough for us to plant into the raised beds and that's going to get done as well. So a quick note before I start is that you must leave enough space in a raised bed or an allotment garden for you to walk through uh, without damaging the plants. Um, and also you put a plank on the ground so that you don't compress the ground too much in one area where you're walking so your weight is spread evenly across the ground. Broad beans are a very leggy vegetable and as such they have a tendency to fall over. So I should have tied these up earlier but I'm going to do that now. Um, for the support I've used cuttings from a crab apple tree um, that I did in early spring as you're supposed to. So I'm just going to take the twine and wrap it around. And just give it a simple double knot. not too tight because you want to leave the vegetable, uh, the stem of the broad bean, enough space to grow and move and you can damage it by tying it tightly to the support so that will just stop it from falling over in any further rain. Some peas have also appeared from I don't know where, I must have accidentally dropped some seeds here, um, some mystery peas so I'm just helping them to attach to the support also. When planting on seedlings you want to ensure that the seedling has true leaves. Now if you look at this beetroot here you see that it's just got its first leaves so it's not ready to be planted out yet really. Some would but I want to give it a chance to be stronger so that it isn't as badly affected when I move it because all plants will be slightly affected when, when you plant them out into the ground or when you disturb the roots at all. So with the broccoli here that I have you can see that it's got one, two, three, four leaves, true leaves. Uh, it's got two sets of true leaves, so I'm much more confident about moving it. So here are the broccolis that I'm going to be planting out into the raised bed today. Uh, they take about a year to harvest so it will be January, February next year um, when I get to eat some of the broccoli that I've been growing hopefully. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is just to prepare a hole in the ground here for them and you want the hole to be roughly the size of um, the plant as it already is. Now I'm just going to tease these out of the box. So the last thing to do is to water the plants in after you've planted them out. Give them a good soak. Now, so these are probably spaced too close together. Um, so if they do get far too large for the space, I'll just take out every other one. It'll be a shame. Um, but I just wanted to try the seedlings in place, the ones that I'd grown anyway. So the broad beans are now supported in case there's another rain and I've got the broccoli in their home now so I'll be looking forward to them in one year's time. Thank you again for watching Commoner Garden.